हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अडेप्टिव एंड रैशनल एक्सपेक्टेशन एंड फ्लिप्स कर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट नॉर्मल फ्लिप्स कर नॉर्मली फ्लिप्स कर डिस्क्राइब इन वर्स रिलेशन बिटवीन इन्फ्लेशन एंड अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट नॉर्मली फ्लिप्स कर डिस्क्राइब इन वर्स रिलेशन बिटवीन इन्फ्लेशन एंड अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट मीन्स अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस इफ इन्फ्लेशन इंक्रीज अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट फॉल ऑन दिन अदर हैंड वेन इन्फ्लेशन फॉल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इंक्रीज एज वी नो इन्फ्लेशन इंक्रीज दैट मीन्स प्राइजेज आर इंक्रीजिंग If prices are increasing, profit of producer is increasing. If profit of producer is increasing, production increasing. If production increasing, obviously producer will hire more and more employees. As a result, unemployment will fall. So we can say that inflation and unemployment have a inverse relation according to normal Phillips curve. If inflation increase, un unemployment fall. If inflation fall, unemployment increase. In this diagram, you can see on x-axis we have unemployment and y-axis we have inflation. inflation when inflation increase unemployment fall when inflation fall unemployment increase and this pl is our flips curve now we are going to talk about adaptive expectation and flips curve what are adaptive expectation in case of adaptive expectation we are not able to predict the result of any change at short time period but we can predict at long time period in case of adaptive expectation we are not able to predict the result of any change at short time period but we can predict at long time period for example through any government policy inflation increase in economy obviously inflation increase price is increase when price is increase real wage rate of employees fall real wage rate basically tell us purchasing power of employees or we can say the real wage rate basically tell us how much goods and services we can buy with particular amount of money obviously when prices increase we can buy less goods and services with particular amount of money so we can say that when prices increase real wage rate of employees fall but initially at short time period employees are not able to predict because of inflation their real wage rate fall that's why they don't demand for high wage rate but at long time period they realize because of inflation their real wage rate fall as a result they demand for high wage rate so we can say that in case of adaptive expectation we are not able to predict the result of any change at short time period but at long time period we can predict now with the help of this diagram we will clearly understand adaptive expectation and flips curve in this diagram on x axis we have unemployment rate and y axis we have inflation suppose initially our economy is in a0 point at this point unemployment rate is 4% this is called natural rate of unemployment at this a0 point inflation rate is 5% now suppose through any government policy inflation increase in economy 5 to 7% as inflation increase unemployment fall from 5 to 3% now our equilibrium point is a1 but why as uh, inflation increase unemployment fall as we earlier discussed as inflation increase that means price in increase now producer is selling goods at higher price obviously his profit increase his profit increase production increase production increase he is hiring more and more employees as a result unemployment fall in economy so we can say that as inflation increase unemployment fall in economy so now producer is selling goods at 7% inflation rate means producer is earning more and more profit that's why he is hiring more and more employees as a result unemployment is reducing in economy now producer is in profit but employees are in loss because they are receiving wage rate at 5% inflation rate and they are not demanding higher wage rate but why because of adaptive expectation at short time period employees are not able to realize now inflation has increased their real wage rate has fall and they are still receiving wage rate equal to 5% inflation rate so a1 is unstable equilibrium point or we can say that a1 is a short time period equilibrium point because at long time period employees can realize because of inflation because of high prices their real wages has reduced that's why they demand for high wage rate 
as the demand for a high wage rate profit of producer will fall as profit for production fall production fall they will hire less employees even they start firing their existing employees as a result unemployment will increase from 3 to 4% and we will come back to our previous level of unemployment rate now our equilibrium point is b0 here you can see a1 is a short time period unstable equilibrium point at long time period our economy will move from a1 to b0 point at b0 point our uh, inflation has increased from 5 to 7% but unemployment rate is same so we can say that short time period there is some relation between inflation and unemployment but at long time period there is no relation between in inflation and unemployment because inflation increase from 5 to 7% but unemployment rate is same in economy again it can possible inflation increase from 7 to 9% at short time period we can move from b0 to b1 point but at long time period we come back to this c0 point these are short time period flips karo spc 1 2 and 3 are short time period flips karo when we join all this point a0 b0 and c0 we will get lpc lpc is long time period flips curve now we are going to talk about rational expectation and flips curve according to rational expectation people are very rational in their decision they use all best available information for making any decision according to rational expectation people are very rational in their decision they use all best available information for making any decision for example through any government policy inflation increase obviously prices increase and real wage rate of employees fall now employees will immediately predict because of inflation their real wage rate is falling that's why they immediately demand for high wage rate so according to rational expectation employees kya hai bahut samajhdar hai unke paas sari information hai unko pata hai inflation aa raha hai price badh raha hai to unki real wage rate kam hogi hogi so wo kya karte hai pehle se hi demand karne lag jate hai ki hamari wages ko badhao now we will see flips curve according to rational expectation in this diagram on x axis we have unemployment and y axis we have inflation initially inflation rate is 5% and unemployment rate is 4% this will be called natural rate of unemployment now suppose through any government policy inflation increase in economy from 5 to 7% as inflation increase employees immediately predict because of inflation their real wage rate will fall that's why they immediately demand for high wage rate as employees demand for high wage rate profit of producer fall as profit fall obviously they will not increase production if they are not increasing production how they can hire more employees as a result unemployment rate will remain in remain same in economy again inflation increase again employees predict because of inflation their real wage rate will fall so they demand for high wage rate as a result profit fall they will not increase more production and unemployment rate will remain same in economy so this will be called long run flips curve so we can say according to rational expectation there is no relation between inflation and unemployment either in short run or long term but according to adaptive expectation there is some relationship between inflation and unemployment at short time period but at long time period there is no relation between unemployment and inflation so this is all about uh, adapted and rational expectation and flips curve i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care